Vlogmas Day 20! So we decided to have a bit of a lazy morning. So it's actually now the early afternoon. We decided to have a little bit of a sleep in, wake up naturally. I got some editing done. Jordi caught up with some friends, Bobby caught up with some work. And we've just kind of been taking it chill because we did stay up last night to watch the entertainment. And it was so good, wasn't mm, it? It was quite rough staying up late. Yeah. Up yeah. Dawn Louise is definitely now at the age where she prefers the evening entertainment yeah. to the kids' entertainment. But this is actually our first time ever going to the evening entertainment. And Bobby and I were kicking ourselves that we never gave it a chance before because it was actually really good. It was yeah. very, very good. And they were very talented, weren't they? Yeah, especially like one people yeah, yeah you really liked it didn't you yeah so we plan to go there again tonight so that's another reason that we want to have a lay in so that we could stay up late again Staying up late. what would you say was your favorite thing about the entertainment last night um i think it's that they get like the podcast along and like they do like let you know beforehand like to order your stuff in and like you don't move like move out of your seats because like it is a performance and it's like got a like a lot of singing and dancing yeah you want to be respectful don't yeah. you yeah and you want to be careful with the little ones as well so you stand at the front yeah and um, we tried two of the festive mocktails because bobby and i don't drink so it's just a bit of family fun for us to get mocktails we all tried those one of them we weren't keen on but the other one was actually really mm -hmm. nice and we got those delivered straight to the table which made life so much easier and it's so quiet here so we found out yesterday the reason it is so quiet here and around great yarmouth anyway is because they're actually still in school this week whereas dawn louise broke up already and she has this week and next week off whereas the schools up here have next week and the week after off so that's why it's so quiet and that's also why this holiday ended up being so cheap and affordable so it worked out perfectly for us and it's just really lovely to get to enjoy the site at a quieter time because there's always seats it's lovely yeah what did you think about the seaside squad show because they had a very special christmas show on yesterday and personally i think it's the best that we've seen i think it was quite good and like i'm not really like into like the little kids stuff activities but like i do like the arts and crafts yeah but some like even like the little paper one was a bit like bit down yeah but i will say don louise kind of struggled yesterday at the santa experience because it said that they were going to be doing arts and crafts and dances but it was aimed at i would say about eight years and under so don louise felt a little bit um of a giant there didn't you yeah, yeah. but you still wanted to do the arts and crafts and the santa so there were parts of it that she wanted to do still, even though Why the rest of it go up and dance or something. Like yeah, and they had them like go and find envelopes and everything, and Donos was struggling as well, so it wasn't really the best activity for you to be doing that early in the morning, eh? Yeah. But anyway, are you ready to know what we're doing today? Yes, because I would like to know why I have to get up before two o'clock. Okay, so I've been looking at options of things that we could do this week and I was also trying to look at things that would kind of be a fun day out for all three of us, not just for Dawn Louise. So I'd originally looked at doing a lot of farms and zoos because there are quite a lot in the area. They're only like a short drive, 15, 30 minutes. However, the weather's been a bit temperamental. We've had a lot of rain. Today it looked sunny, but now it's gloomy again. So I think we made the right decision not doing that. So I had to think, what could we do where weather wouldn't be an issue? And I got really lucky because my thoughts and feelings had been confirmed in that this is something that Bobby would really enjoy. <laughs> is this what I pointed out the other day and you have, you just looked and it's like, don't even think about it. We are going to the Hippodrome Circus. <laughs> What's the Hippodrome Circus? So we're going to go to a big building called a Hippodrome and inside of it will be a Christmas spectacular circus where there will be acrobatics and all kinds of really, really unique gymnastics. Woo! How long is it? I don't know how long it is to be honest, but it starts at 2.30 and it's about five, ten minute drive from here, not far. It's actually back where we were yesterday kind of area. Oh. Um, but yeah, you've never been to a circus before. So I think, I think you're really gonna really like this though because you like watching the acrobatics, don't you? So I think this is going to be something that you'll really enjoy. And Bobby looks giddy as anything. So I think he's pretty happy with this choice. Yeah, because I was going to, like last night or this morning, I was going to look at it to see what it's like. <laughs> but I was like, no, just in case you had booked it. Because <laughs> your face kind of gave it away. You're like... I was so annoyed. So basically... <laughs> basically i'd been able to keep him from seeing this van they had like a van with a big tv on the side and it was the hippodrome circus advert and it was playing like a montage of what they do and i'd been able to distract him from it perfectly fine until Not we me, got though. in the car i was like oh a tv in a van yeah Ooh. but I, I managed to stop them actually watching it 
But then we, I wanted to get some hot wings to eat from the deli counter and Bobby decided that we should eat them before we got in the car and we were parked right in front of it. So obviously, because it's the only thing to see in the area, he starts watching it and I'm just there like, for God's sake. But I have email proof that I signed up to book these tickets before we came here. So I can prove that it was still my idea first because um, I know that you have wanted, you haven't been to circuses, have you? I think I've been to like one small one, but like not a hippodrome. Bit, nothing. No, because no. I, no. I, it's basically it's a it's a purpose built building, isn't it? The hippodromes. Yeah, and it's got like purpose built kind of acrobatics in it. So yeah. like it's ones what you wouldn't see on a normal circus because it, they're too dangerous to. Yeah. Keep putting up and bringing back down, basically. Yeah. Everything. But you're gonna like this because there's a lot of, like risky falls and stuff. Yeah. It's a lot of on the edge. Like, and uh, to make it even better, and I don't think this would have been possible unless it was half term, I have got us ringside seats. Ooh. So unfortunately, ringside so that means that we're right at the front, basically. it's in You sit in a big circle and we're right at the front. The problem is, I wanted to get us to the very first row, but because we're a family of three, there was a space left at every place that had three seats together, so it wouldn't let me book them. So we are second row, ringside. So we're still really close, but we are just one row back from the very, very front. But I still think that'll be fine, because I didn't know exactly what the seating time was gonna look like, so I think this is a good choice. But yeah, I don't know how long the show's gonna be. I'm guessing one to two hours. Yeah, what do you think? Cool! Yeah? Look at this. No, so fun fact. Uh -oh. This is a little bit torturous for me because the only circus that I've ever been to was a travelling circus mm. and a clown came up and tipped an entire bucket of water on me mm. and mm. from that point on I was terrified of clowns, I was terrified of water and uh, it wasn't a very pleasant experience and I really hope that... Is that not... why you don't like water in the beach? It, yeah, it's why I can't stand water in my face because it literally oh. traumatised me for years. And I don't, I'm really hoping they can't legally do that anymore because even as an adult now, if water hits me in the face, I instantly just start panicking. It's ridiculous. But um, this one isn't a circus with clowns, so I think I'll be okay. I don't think it's that kind of a circus, so we should be okay. But yeah, I was I was traumatised as a kid by a circus and never went back. So, you know, fighting fears for Christmas, you know. <laughs> but yeah. Let's go. Shall we go? Yes. yes. Now, I don't think Dawn Louise completely understands what it is that we're going to go do, so it'll be interesting to see her review afterwards. But we will see you when we get there. Bye! <laughs>
So Bobby just said to me, I can't go in it, can I? And I was like, yeah, that's not why you're five foot six. <laughs> Go on, Bob, big jump! <laughs> I thought he was like, ow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I won, though, because I was jumping. <laughs> 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 Day done. <laughs> Circus, and then we did a couple more games down at the arcades, but now we need to pee and there's no public bathroom, so we're heading back to Haven. <laughs> Bobby? Yes? What did you think of your early Christmas present as your trip to the Hippodrome? No, it's really good. It wasn't how I explained earlier, so I'm sorry for that. <laughs> but no, it was definitely kind of designed for what acts they had there, and like, it's just amazing how you can get different acts. And they wasn't just from one like one place, they're from around the world. Yeah, they? one of them was from Brazil, the area and yeah. was from Brazil. And there's one from the United Kingdom. Yeah. So you wasn't allowed to film in there, but you'd love to take pictures. So I took loads, so you would have seen them by now. Um so basically the six say brothers or friends. They're kind of acrobatics. Practice gymnastics yeah. kind of thing. They're yeah. jumping basically through hoops and one went through a really tiny one and I was still like how they did that. <laughs> and like they went at poles and they just basically Freak done out. a sheer drop yeah. and then stuck the south right at the bottom. And it was really Which cool because at one point they went down the pole but over another person. Yeah. 
and they, considering the, that the flooring is hard work, that would hurt. Yeah, and exchange from one, one pole to another, didn't they? Would have Yeah. So yeah, it's incredible how they've done it in like pure strength, basically. Yeah. Oh my god, all the, all the people there must be so strong. Then there was one from Brazil. She done like aerial silks, aerial silks and stuff like that. She went really, really, good. really, really high. And she was only holding on to like what I can believe was um like either it's silk, I think. Like it's what it's silk. Silk, I think. So yeah, um, like fabric. Basically. And she also done um the hula hoops as well. She did. Mm -hmm. yeah. She was so good at that. What was your favourite actor in the movies? Um, I wanna say probably when like the one was like holding to the silk and like going up. Um, it was really scary when she rolled all the way down. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah. but I think another bit was also like swimming. Yeah, like, I couldn't believe that was really cool. I couldn't believe that there were synchronized swimmers because it's not a huge place, but yeah, there's a pool right in the middle where the acts take place, and that lowers down and fills up with water, and all of a sudden you've got synchronized swimmers. One of the things that I thought was so cool is that they have a dance school attached to the circus. So they had these little kids come in and do some dancing and do some tap, and that was really cute. Mm. Yeah. And there's a magician as well, wasn't there? There was a magician as well, yeah. I was like, yeah, I and know. And Santa rode on water. Yeah. The magician part, I was like, yeah, I know what I was like, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> yes, there was. Um, there was also another magician. The one with, like, the glowing stick. Yeah. Like how the hula hoops had changed colour. Because at first it's like one colour, and you're like, whoa, I'm not colour, like, hula hoops. Oh, that. What did you think of the Diablo? Oh, that was cool. They even had one that glowed. Glow.
Right, your first question. We're going with the letter T. Can you name a Christmas... and then realised that we actually needed to go to the shop and Audi was closing with like five minutes of spare so we couldn't run in, apologised to the staff and grabbed everything that we needed. So we're now back in the car, but oh my God, we need to shop at Audi more because the bargains, every time we go there's bargains. So I got a bed set for 4 99 down from a tenner. So like even off the sale that's cheap. But look how cute, it's got little robins on it. It's so cute. So yeah, it's got like a little plaid checkered thing going on and um then the other side has robins all over it and it was 4.99 so i was like i've got to get that and yeah i'm so happy mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm not gonna lie though i wish they had two because i think your dad would love that because he's got robins i said putting the king size oh you made me panic then <laughs> i was like um but yeah we also got a few other things but nothing really major just stuff that we need for haven anyway yeah we're gonna head back to haven and we'll see when we get there snow is falling all around me children playing having fun tis the season for love and understanding i don't know the rest of the words <laughs> merry christmas <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I was yeah. go daddy. Yay! Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah, later. We're not the last one, Help! 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 Help!